بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله My dear student, greeting to you all. Today, inshallah, we will carry on with our English language lessons for the third year. My name is teacher Inas al -Hdithi. So this will be a general revision. What do we mean by this? This will be a very good chance for any student, for if for any reason you have missed any of the previous lesson, this will be your chance to catch whatever you have missed, my dear students. So let's start. As I told, as I t I've been telling you, this will be a revision, okay? We will be focused on this revision on one unit, which will be unit travel and transportation. What skills do you think we will cover? We will read. So for this part, I need you to have your books ready, right in front of you, and focus on the screen. Also, we will write, so for this one, I need you to have your notebook, some pencils in case you need to take some notes, while I'm saying or speaking out the words or reading the sentences, I need you to listen carefully and repeat them with me. So make sure you are sitting in a quiet place. Let's start. By the end, by the end of the lesson, inshallah, you are expected to identify different kind of transportations. Also, we will be able to name different landforms and in order to do that, as usual, we will have fun doing a lot of exercises, different kind of exercises. So let's start. This is your book, my dear student. Book number four, make sure you have your books by now. Even if you have the, the electronic book, I, ha I personally prefer the actual book. This is the cover of unit two. As you can see, we have the name here, Travel and Transportation. Travel and transportation. What do you think? Based on the picture, what are we going to take in this unit? We will discuss different kind of transportation. Here I can see a bus, I can see a train, a ship, a plane, and different transportation. Here we have, as you can see, travel and transportation start at page 21. So make sure you have your books at page 21, as we will be covering from lesson one till lesson Number four, this is a general revision. So in case for any reason, you've missed any of the lessons before, this is your chance. Let's start by naming landforms. What do we mean by landforms, my dear student? We introduced this one. Actually, we have it in a very interesting passage when we talked about Yimbo, which is a very important port, right? So let's start by introducing these pictures. Can you tell me, what is this, my dear student? What is this? Excellent, it's a city, it is a city. So let's read together. City, city. One more time, city. One last time, city, very good, very good. Can you give me names of different cities in Saudi Arabia? Jeddah is a city, Riyadh is a, is a city. Tabuk is a city. Very good. Excellent. How about this one? Now, it's not a city here. We have, we have, very good. We have a village. Village. One more time. Village. One last time. Village. Very good. Very good, my dear student. How about this one? Can you name this landform for me? It is a valley. Very good. Let's read one more time. Valley, valley, one more time, valley, one last time, valley, very good. How about this picture? What do you think, what, what do we have here? We have a range of mountains, very good, mountains, mountains. One more time, mountains, one last time, mountains. We have a range of mountains in Asir, right? How about this one? What do we have here? I have C, very good, C, C. One more time, C, one last time, C, very good, very good, my dear student. How about this one? What do you think? It is, it is a desert, very good, desert, desert. One more time, desert, 
One last time. Desert. Very good. Very good. I have a desert. Now, help me out to choose the correct answer, my dear student. Let me read the sentence for you. These are mountains, hills. What do you think? What do we have here? These are mountains or hills. What do you think? What do you think? Very good. These are mountains. These are mountains. Very good. Very good. How about this one? This is a village. Do you think this is a true statement or a false one? What do you think? Does it look like a village? Actually, it's a false sentence. Very good. This is not a village. It is a desert. It is a desert. Very good. Now, I need you to write the landform for me. We have some of these landforms in your book. Okay? I'll be giving you probably 15 seconds. Try to name the landform for me. Then I'll be revealing the answers for you. Now, let's start with the first picture. What is it? I have a hill here. Very good. Hill. Hill. Let's move to the next one. What do we have here, my dear student? We have mountains. Mountains. Very good. Very good. How about the one in the middle? What do we have? I have an island. Very good. Island. Island. Now notice the S here is silent. We don't pronounce it. Now, next, what do we have? I have a river. Very good. River. River. And for the last landform, I have a valley. Very good. Valley. So let's read la the landforms one last time. Hill, mountains, island, river, and valley. Very good, my dear student. Now, I have this picture. I did not put any name on it, okay? But notice that I have different landforms here, right? So try to name the, one, the ones that you already know by now, okay? Try to name how many landforms can you see? I'll be revealing the answer. Try to name the landforms here. Okay, let's re reveal the answers. I have mountains, valley, lake, and hill. Very good. Let's read. Mountains, valley, lake, and hill. Very good, my dear student. Now, the, we just talked about the landforms. But as you remembered, we discussed something that's very important. Directions. How to give directions, my dear student? To start with, we need to know the four essential directions. What are they? I have four. North, south, east, west. If you remember, I, I know you do, when we talked about Yambu, we, we, we discussed that Yambu is north Jidda, right? So, to give specific direction, notice that we add some more directions here. North, northeast, southeast, Southwest, Northwest. So beside the four essential directions, we added more to go specific. So North, South, East, and West. Also we have Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, Northwest. Very good, my dear student. Excellent. Now, also, we introduce different kind of transportation. Different kind of transportation, my dear student. Let's start. Let me try to reveal some of the transportation that we use daily, right? As you can see here. Different kind of transportation, okay? We will be saying the names of these directions in a minute. Oh, sorry, this transportation. Now, as you can see here, I have all the transportation's name. Let's read them. 
and try to match them in the correct or write them in the correct uh, place. I have ship, train, car, bicycle, yacht, scooter, airplane, helicopter, and bus. These are different kind of transportation. So I'll be giving you 15 seconds. Try to give the name of each and every transportation here. Now notice, all the names you need are here in the box. Okay, start, good luck. Okay, so let's start with the first picture. What do I have here? My dear student, I have an airplane. Very good, I have an airplane. How about the one in the middle? What is it? Here I have, it's very easy, I have a car. Very good, I have a car. How about the next one? What do I have? I have what? What do you think, my dear student? I have a bicycle, very good. So. We might say bicycle or we could say a bike, right? So let's read our answers one more time. Airplane, car, bicycle. Now let's go to the different pictures here we have. Let's read the answers for above. Ship, train, car, bicycle, yacht, scooter, airplane, helicopter, and bus. Let's start with the first one here. What do you think? It is... A scooter, very good, it is a scooter. How about the one right next to it? What is it, my dear student? Is it a train? Is it a helicopter? No, it is a ship, it is a ship, very good, a huge ship. What do you think right next to it? I have a picture of what? It is, it is a train, very good, I have a train, very good. Now let's go below, what do I have here? I have a yacht, right next to it I have a helicopter, and for the last one, what do I have? I have a bus, I have a bus. So let's read our answers one last time. Scooter, ship, train, yacht, helicopter, and bus, and bus. Very good, very good. Now, let me ask you this question, my dear student, how do you get to your school. How do you get to your school, my dear student? Probably not all the people go to school using the exact same transportation. But if I ask you this question, how do you get to your school? Or how do you get to your work? How do you get to the hospital? You will probably give me one of these answers. Perhaps by saying, by bus, by bike, by car, or on foot. So let, let me ask you the question one more time. How do you get to your school? So we might say, by bus, by bike, by car, and on foot, on foot. Very good, my dear student. Now, as you can see here, let's match together. To your left, I have the different pictures of different transportation, and to your right, I have the names. So let me help you by reading the names here. Bus, truck, bike, car, and train. I'll be giving you 30 seconds. Try to match, to match uh, the answers, and then I will reveal the answers to you. Start with the one that you already know, and then move to the other ones. Now, let's try to reveal the answers. Let's start with the first picture. What do you think, my dear student? What do we have here? Is it a bus? Is it a car? Actually, it is a truck. It is a truck. Very good. 
How about the next one? What is it? What is it, my dear student? Here I have a bus. Very good. I have a bus. Very good. Next, what do I have? I know you can't get this one. It is a car. Very good. It is a car. Now I have two remaining pictures and two remaining answers. Bike and train. So for the first picture here I have, it's a train. Very good. And the next one, or the last one here I have, I have a bike. Very good, my dear student. Excellent. Now, match with the correct answer. So here I have, how do I use, or how do I use this transportation? Through what? Land, water, or air. Okay? Again, I'll be giving you 20 seconds. Try to match it with the correct answer. I have a car, a boat, a helicopter, a truck, and an airplane. Tell me, how do we use this transportation? Let's start with the first one. For the car, we normally use it through the land. Very good, land. How about the boat here? Not land now. Water, very good. How about the helicopter, my dear student? Go through the air. Very good. How about the truck? Land again. And for the airplane, air. Very good, my dear student. Let's read our answers one more time. Land, water, air, land, and air again. Now, here I have all the, the transportation here in the box. I, I gave you the first one as an example. I need you to complete it with the correct answers. But let me read the ones for you. Plane, taxi, train, truck, motorcycle. What do you think? I gave you the first one as an example. The first one, the first picture here, I have a bus. How about number two, my dear student? What do you think? What do you think? We have a number two. I have a motorcycle. Very good. I have a motorcycle. Very good. Excellent. How about number three? Number three is a plane. Very good, it's a plane. What about number four? What do you think? Number four is I have a train. Excellent, I have a train. But number five, now it could be a taxi or a truck. I have a truck. Very good. And for the last one, it is obviously a taxi. So let's read our answers one last time. Motorcycle plane, train, truck, and taxi. Very good, my dear student. Now, I need you to open your books at page 30. As you can see, this is a general revision, lesson one. I'll be trying to zoom in as, as much as I can, okay, in order to be able to write the answers for me. For this part, I need you to have your pencils right next to you, or perhaps if you prefer a pen, and write down the answer. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to complete. So here I have six pictures of different transportations, right? And here he gave us the first letter of each and every transportation. What are we going to do? We need to complete the answer, okay? So let's start with the first one, for, an, for example. The first one, I have letter A. I will rewrite it, okay? And then, what do you think the word will be? Number one, I have an airplane. I have an airplane. I know you can do much better with your beautiful handwriting. So number one, I have an airplane. How about number two? I already have letter S. So what do you think? Here I have, I have a ship. Very good. I have a ship. Excellent, excellent. How about number three? We already help you out with letter T. So the answer is train. Very good. It is a train. Excellent. It's a train. Number four, we already have letter C. I have a red car. Very good. I have a red car. Very good. How about number five, my dear student? What do we have? I have a picture of... A bike, very good. I have a bike, 
And for the last one, I have a bus. Very good. We already have letter B. Let me write it one more time. I have a bus. Make sure you are writing or you write down the correct answers in your books. Now, also we have this at page 31. I'll try to zoom it in. Read and match. Let me read the sentences first and try to match them with the correct pictures. Number one, it's a comfortable chair. Number two, it's a small bike. Number three, it's a cheap car. Number four, they go to school on foot. Number five, it is a big ship. And I have five pictures. So let's start with the first one. It's a comfortable chair. What do you think, my dear student? Where is the comfortable chair? Very good. It is this one. So write down number one in this picture. And then it's a small bike. Where is the small bike, my dear student? Where do you think the small bike is? Very good. So that is number two. Make sure you are writing the correct numbers. Next, I have a cheap car. Very good. That is a cheap car. Fourth, they go to school on foot. That's number four. And it is a big ship. That is number five. Very good, my dear student. Now, let's revise what we have learned in this lesson. In this lesson, we try to cover some of the information that we have at travel and transportation. We introduce or we revised the transportation that we might use, a car, bike, and we were able to complete the exercises at page 30 and page 31. So that was my revision, my dear student. Until I see you next time, stay safe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.